let's pack up one of my new St. Patrick's Day kits. They're available now and I love them. They, I think they came out really good. Oh, let me show you a finished example of what I did just by, this is not professional. <laughs> I am not a professional artist, but I do what I can. So first off is the frame and I already put the piece of wood inside for you to paint, but you can take it out. I just thought it would be easier for shipping purposes to have it in. I've attached the ribbon for you. I love this ribbon so much I thought it was perfect you know because at the end of the pot at the pot of gold is the rainbow or the rainbow the pot of gold is at the end of the rainbow that's more that's the right way so I put that all in I'm giving you um, a full sheet of but I had to cut it so that it wouldn't get bent in the box of the mini postcards and you can use those to decorate the cards I'm also including so you're gonna get four car four Plymouth cards shamrock shimmer gold buffalo plaid white and the asphalt the square and then craft brown envelopes and you're gonna get two these are five by seven photo mount or they're mount cards or you just do your own design on them they're hundred percent blank and those are um, snow white you get a couple of fun little card stocks to do what you will those will actually slide right into the front of the cards so we're going to get that we're going to get two four by six labels you can peel these back and decorate them and now i'm including information on about that just so if you don't see this video you know why you're getting those random stickers i'm putting in a bunch of cardstock for you to just cut and do all kinds of fun things with i love cardstock it's always so fun two postcards one a pot of gold and a hot air balloon i thought that would be fun to um include as well two sheets of stickers. The stickers vary by kit. Um, oh, and then this is interesting. This is a pack um, painter's tape, and I'm going to show you what you're going to use that for. You're going to use that because there's going to be a bunch of little pieces, and it's easier to put the little pieces on the tape and paint them than to fight with them. Um, thank you, Kim, for that amazing tip. But of course, I'm going to put instructions on how to put items into the cards so that you know. That's all going to go in this bag two pieces of um, chipboard. You can make bookmarks with these. I think that'll be really fun. I'm going to put that in the card bag. That's where I should have. Okay. Look at this. Loads of luck. That is going to go into this bag with um, a little leprechaun, pot of gold, leprechaun hat, all the letters of loads of luck. Let me pick those all up. Some of them may look like this on one side. Just flip them over, use the other side. The laser sometimes, you know, gets the stuff. Some little gold coins or little coins. You can paint those gold or also I use them on my tires. So you can use those little wooden things. Then you're going to get a ton of little shamrocks, different sizes or clover, whatever you want to call them. Um, but there's three different sizes and I just put a bunch in that's if that's a member um i put them all in oh, there we go so we got all that then there is another <laughs> bunch of ribbon pieces i thought you could use these to um decorate cards with the bookmarks make fun have fun with them an inch of this rainbow fabric because it's too pretty not to share some extra right put that all in the bag with the tape so that you can use that for i try to make kits inclusive of everything you need except for a pair of scissors in your imagination there's also a piece of little plexiglass you can use that with this little mini popsicle stick to mix colors that way you don't have to search around for anything again it's just me trying to make it so that you have everything you need and not have to run around your house looking for something or if you're giving this to someone as a gift they don't have to run around they have everything they need that's it all right we're getting close on the box paint white gold orange green and black and you can mix them so if you wanted to make a lighter green to have multi um a different kinds um a multiple number of different color shamrocks you could make the green even lighter or add a little black and make it a little darker so that's good what that is of course paint brushes you need paint brushes two rolls of washi tape this will vary by kit and then of the usual aliens tacky glue this is the best glue i love it so much and it dries pretty quickly and hopefully we've got everything in here so okay we do and then it's it's ready to go so the last thing i need to do is put on a belly band and a label just letting you know it's the st patrick's day kit and then it will get shipped off um, I just have to make the sticker, but if you have any questions, feel free to ask, but this is one of the things I made with the kit, and I'd love for you to share your creativity of what you made. If you have any questions, always feel free to ask. Thanks!